Hey guys, it's always Elp here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple has released another beta for iOS 17. iOS 17 developer beta 5 was released by Apple today. And of course, in this video, I wanted to cover what's new with the latest iOS 17 developer beta 5. There's actually some good news that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So aside from iOS 17 developer beta 5 for the iPhone, Apple also updated the iPad with iPadOS 17 beta 5 for the iPad, a Mac OS 14 beta 5 for the Mac. We also have Watch OS 10 beta 5 available for the Apple Watch and of course TV OS 17 developer beta 5 is now available for the Apple TV. Now there's actually quite a bit of ground to cover. This beta comes in at approximately 1 gig of a download. This is actually a large file for a fifth beta. Now it looks like Apple will be switching to releasing betas every single week from here on out which could indicate that iOS 17 will soon be released to the public. Remember, Beta 4, the re-release, was released last Monday. So today, Apple released iOS 17 Beta 5 about a week later. So it looks like Apple will now be switching to releasing new betas every week until the official final release, which means, of course, iOS 17 is right around the corner, the final release for the software. Now, I want to talk about some of the things that Apple has updated server-side. those of you who use Apple Pay, Apple Pay is now available in two additional additional countries. So Apple Pay is now available in Vietnam and Apple Pay is now available in Chile as well. So thanks to Aaron613 over on Twitter for this one. Yeah, Apple Pay is now available in those two additional countries. Now, before we get to some of the changes in iOS 17 developer beta 4, I also wanted to make you guys aware AirPods beta, the latest beta for AirPods is now available. So beta 3 for AirPods, build number 6A289C is now available for registered developers. Now, keep in mind, AirPods will be getting major updates this year once iOS 17 is officially released, like adaptive audio, conversation awareness, one click to mute and unmute, improve auto switching, and personalized volume as well. So a lot of features are coming to AirPods and Apple has made available today yet another beta for the AirPods for those of you who might be interested. Now before we continue, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, K-School and the K-School Magic Stand case. This is my favorite case. I use it every single day. Of course, the Magic Stand is the highlighted feature here. It allows me to use my MagSafe accessories without having to remove my case. I can also use the Magic Stand, of course, to prop my iPhone up to watch YouTube videos or play video games k school is having a brand day 25 percent off each day with an additional 15 percent off for a total of 40 percent for three days straight from august 7th through august the 9th so make sure you check out all the links in the description on day one you have your k school cloud series of cases with up to 40 percent off again the first hour you want to make sure you're there to get up to 40 percent off on day two k school is featuring the magic stand case series as well and on day three the offers continue with with various products up to 40% off. You don't want to miss this deal. K-School brand day. Make sure you check out the links in the description and grab your K-School case today. Thank you to K-School for sponsoring today's video. So what's new with iOS 17 developer beta 5? Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot of ground to cover because Apple continues to polish the operating system. And just for reference, on the right, this one's running beta 4 and this one's running the latest beta 5. Now, let's take a look at some of the latest changes. And number one, when I launched the music application, I got this brand new splash screen in beta 5. Five. And I also want to talk about the widgets because there's some changes happening here. So let's go into the widget here, the calendars, the reminder widgets. These have been changed here a little bit here. So if we go into the calendar right here, calendar in beta four, hopefully the camera will do it justice. But in beta four, the widgets on the calendar were completely dark and black. As you can see right here on the left, the latest beta five, this one has sort of a grayish tone to them. And this goes to all the widgets here for the calendar. I prefer the one in beta four, the darker solid black colors but apple has definitely changed it in beta 5 now let's go into the actual reminders widget as well here because we can see the same changes happening here as well so once again completely black background here on the reminders widget which in the latest beta we have sort of a more grayish tone to the widget here as well and the last one i want to talk about is the wallet application widget here once again the widget on the right
light here is a lot darker, completely black in comparison to the current beta, which is sort of a grayish tone. Apple continues to polish up the operating system. Then I want to talk about FaceTime and the FaceTime video effects because there's some changes happening here. Again, Apple continues to polish the operating system here. As we take a look here, studio lighting in beta 4 is on the top. In beta 5, it is in the middle. And also the glyphs have been changed here a little bit as well. So if we tap into the actual menus here for the studio lighting, you see that we have some adjustments here being made with the latest beta. Also portrait mode in beta 4, it was in the middle and now it's in the, on the top here again the glyphs have also been changed here if we go into the menus we see some adjustments here as well we see new glyphs within the actual menus here and just refinements overall for facetime uh, uh, for FaceTime video effects here as well. Now, one thing I also want to mention is that the animations in the latest Beta 5, although they remain the same when launching applications, going through Spotlight, bringing down Control Center, just feel a lot smoother. And that's part of the good news that I wanted to share with you guys. The animations, the operating system after using it for about two hours approximately feels a lot snappier. And one thing I do want to mention that will make a lot of you guys happy within the past two hours of using the software, Offer. I haven't encountered any issues with the keyboard in iOS 17 developer beta 5. I haven't encountered the actual text input disappear as I was with previous betas or the keyboard disappearing. None of that is happening here with beta 5. So I'm happy to report finally we get some smoother animations and it looks like some of the bugs will continue to disappear as Apple continues releasing new betas. Now, of course, stay tuned for my follow-up video where I talk about the battery, any additional new features, so make sure to subscribe for that one. But now, let's go ahead and talk about when can we expect the next beta and the official final release for iOS 17. So now that it appears that Apple is switching to releasing new betas every week or to a weekly release schedule, if history is any indication, once again, the next beta should be available next week on the week of the 14th of August. And then we see another beta on the 22nd and so on until we see the official release. Now, in terms of official release, I'm thinking September 18th is when we'll see iOS 17, the official final version released to everyone worldwide. Again, if you're looking for the next beta, that will most likely happen every week until the last week of August. Once Apple is ready to launch, what they do is they skip a week and then they do the RC, what is the release candidate. So we'll see beta 5 today Day, beta 6 next week, beta 7 the following. The last week of August, we may not see anything. And then on the first full week of September, we see the RC, the release candidate. And then following two weeks later, maybe September the 18th, we see the official final release for iOS 17 to the general public. And that about brings it into this video. I just wanted to share those details with you guys. Apple continues to polish the operating system. Things feel a lot better. Finally, some good news. Stay tuned for my battery testing things like that. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.